America I want is one that is committed to true equality and human rights. Uh, I don't think we have everybody has to have the same amount of money, but I think everybody has to have the same amount of opportunity. It's not just a matter of, oh, let's say give everybody the same amount of money and everything will be fine. It doesn't work that way. There have to be restraints um, and uh, on people like Elon Musk and who bad behavior and acquisition of ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, but you can't just simply make this go away by shifting around money. There's a charter school in Camden, uh, for example. I, I know something about that because my uh, daughter-in-law uh, works there. Um, that just sent a whole bunch of kids to historically black colleges and universities. Well, before that, they went to no college or university. So they may not be going to Yale, Harvard, and Princeton, but they are going to schools that are going to get them better jobs and give their kids more opportunity. That's how it works. This is not going to get done in a day. But the progress we've made since the 60s is enormous if you can, if you can look back on it. And we've got a very long road ahead of us. But I think we are making steps on that road. We're in a bump now because we're getting the reaction of people who are terrified of women who have power and who are terrified of members of minority groups who have power. But guess what? I think the women and the minority groups have enough power. So the people who are resisting that are going to be on the losing end. And if they're not on the losing end, we're all going to be on the losing end, including the people who are resisting. One of the things about America that's so very special and that gives us a chance both to fix ourselves and help the world fix itself by example is this notion that we're all people first. And because we all have to live with each other, whether we like it or not, we're actually beginning to learn uh, how other people are. And the fact is then we discover that they're much more like us than we ever thought they were. What I really admire is the resilience of the native peoples in the Americas and their strength to be where we are today. Uh, we have not disappeared. We have not been swept under the carpet and that our, our voices are rising. And that is one part. The other is that uh, many parts of the Americas are beautiful because of Native Americans, whether it's in the rainforests of South America or in the Arctic, in the far Arctic, uh, it's the people there that are being attentive, as I mentioned before, being attentive of the powers coming in that may want to make some misguided change, but they are protectors. What is my part in this? If I am a, a, a citizen of my community, my tribe, I want to make the place, I want, I want this to be a more beautiful place in the future. As a global citizen, I want the world the globe to be a more beautiful place as well. And I have a responsibility to that. Mm -hmm.